What's up everybody? Welcome to episode three of Draw School. I am super excited because I actually get to teach you how to draw a feature in this episode. In the previous episodes, I taught you guys where things have to go so that they don't look weird. But today, I will be teaching you guys how to draw eyes. Roll my intro. Okay guys, let's draw some eyes, all right? So when you're drawing anything, you wanna break it down to the basic shapes and build from there. Eyes are just circles, a bunch of circles. You can draw an eye with four little circles. Let me show you. So there's one circle for the eyeball, another circle for the iris, another circle for the pupil, and then usually, in general, another circle for the highlight. This part will be dark, because it's the pupil. And voila, you have an eyeball. And all you have to do to make it realistic is add some shading to it. And of course, this little highlight is dependent on where your light source is. So it could be coming from here, and that's why it will be there. Or it could be on this side if your light source was coming from here. Or you can even have light source from the bottom, and then it would probably be somewhere over here. Depends. Always use reference, guys. Always use reference. What I'm gonna do right now is add some shading so you can see how just drawing four little circles and some shading can make a really realistic looking eye. So there you go. That is an eye. Real quick, real simple. A little bit of quick shading and it looks like an eyeball. Okay, so the thing that makes eyes harder to draw is the eyelid. So if I were to take this eyeball and finish it out with an eyelid, actually, let me just start from scratch. So let me show you an eye with an eyelid. So you have your circle, and you wanna throw in your eyelids, cutting across your circle. And the reason that they're going in an arc like that, it's because your eye is a sphere. It's not a two-dimensional object, it's three-dimensional. So it has surface areas that go around the eye, like so. So it's a circle, but your eyelids are cutting across it. All right, so you cut across the circle, then you have your tear duct here, and then the back of your eye. If this would be the person's left eye, which would be us looking at it, would be on the right side of their head. So you draw the shape, which is cutting across the eyeball. You add the iris. Usually the eyelid cuts across the iris because no one's ever just straight staring at people just wide open like this. Because that right there is a surprised look. I'll tell you guys about that later when I'm talking about expressions. So usually this is a relaxed look. Eyelid drooping down a little bit over the eye. Then you have the pupil. Let's add some shading. And usually the, the top eyelid creates a shadow on the eyeball. That is right there. All right, so we have the starts of an eye there. This is of someone facing straight forward. Okay, so now if you drew your eye as a circle first, then you kind of have this outline, right? So this outline around the eye is important to add the next thing, which is the eyelid sack, <laughs> if we're gonna call it that. All right, so around the eyeball, you have your eyelid like that. And usually there's like two lines. The eyes are what make a person look like them. So depending on who you're drawing, you have to get those folds correct to get a really good likeness. It's very important. Those lines in the eyelid and the shape of their eye and everything. Because again, this is a general rule for eyes. It's different with everyone. Maybe that's why they say the eyes are the entryway to the soul. The eyelid line like that, bottom, same, you know, people. If someone didn't get that much sleep, this line would be more prominent. If they're younger, it would be a little less prominent. Prominent meaning you'd be able to see it more or see it less, depending, okay? So this, this line right here is usually pretty dark. This line right here, not so much. So let's add some shading real quick. Your eyes are under your brow. Usually all this is in shadow, really. Even your eyes are not that light when you're looking at reference. 
So you have your tear duct, which sometimes reflects a good amount because it's shiny and wet. But you don't want to miss the eye sill because at the bottom of your eye, here, it goes kind of like that and then down, that and then down, right? Same here, but it's less, you can't see this one that much because of the eyelashes. The sill, the eye sill, is what we'll call it, the eye bevel. That's where your bottom eyelashes come from. Women usually have eyelashes that you can see a lot better. And then if this was a woman, you'd probably add a lot more like that. Cool, so there is an eye. This space right here, dependent on your reference as well. But let's say it was here at the start. I usually draw it like this, depending on the style of the time. I think thick eyebrows are in these days. Thick to thin. But eyebrows are made up of a bunch of little hair strands. So really, to draw a good eyebrow, you kind of like shade it in a little bit. And it depended on the person, but in general, put some shading in and then you wanna throw a little loose ones up at the top. Cause you know, sometimes people have little loose ones in the front. It usually tapers off a little bit towards the end. So you wanna do a little less shading and then the growth sometimes changes to this way. And sometimes you have hairs that come that way like that. And guys, sometimes you have to pay attention to how girls do their makeup if you want to draw stuff better, you know? Sometimes there's a highlight here, right underneath the eyebrow, because that's where the light catches. Same light catching there, same light catching there, same light catching here. So that is an eye ray. Just make sure that you have space for an eye here, and that the other eye will start there. So you want to have enough space for an eye. And the nose will go there, yada, yada, yada. Drawing eyes in an angle. This person is at a three quarter view, right? He's facing that way. Nose is here, eyes are here, like this. Now is at a more of an angle, it's not straightforward. So when you're thinking about the shape of the eye, it's gonna be kind of more like that. And the eyelid's gonna go this way, like this. He's looking that way, back at himself, pupil. Now, if somebody is facing to the side, which we learned how to draw people in different angles on the last episode, make sure you check it out. You learn, you would have learned this. So if he's looking to the side and this is his eye here, that's a whole nother thing. Still a circle, but now it's super extreme, right? Because you're more so looking at the corner of the eye, which would start really here and it's going around that to the other side. Same thing with this one, it'll be going around. So you don't really see these lines. These are on the other side. It's just showing you the form. It's wrapping around the eyeball, right? The eyeball actually lands here. This is the eyelid, eyelid. It's like a little triangle, iris. He's looking straight forward. And then the shiny spot, if it's coming from. So then this goes like that, eyelid sac. <laughs> is that what we're calling it, the eyelid sack? <laughs> There's words for these guys. These things are called actual things, scientifically. I just didn't bother to look them up, so feel free to. I'm sure I learned them in college at some point. I don't really gotta know what it's called. I just gotta know how to draw it. So there's the eyelid there. His nose will go this way like that. The lip there. Eyelashes. And then the eyelashes are going forward now. Crazy as you wanna get because they're crazy these days. That's just where the eye would go into the skull. All right, so if someone's looking up, you picture the eye, it's always good to picture the eyeball. You picture the eyeball, you figure out which way they're looking. If they're looking up, then you gotta realize, okay, I gotta wrap this eyelid around the eyeball. So if this is the corner, this is the corner, eyes looking up, then it's wrapping like this. So that would be the eye sac. Eyelashes would be wild on this. And you wouldn't see the bevel, obviously now, because you would see more of this bevel. Looking down, you're looking this way. So you gotta wrap it around the eye. And then you would see the lip here, so on and so forth. I think that pretty much covers the angles. Let's talk expressions now. If you wanna show somebody surprised, eyelids are further apart from the iris. 
right? So this guy's either scared, surprised, the uh, eyebrows hold all the expression. And if he's, his eyes are this open, then his lid or eyelid sack will be smaller because it's all kind of scrunched up right here. Sometimes you wanna make somebody look sly, make their eyes look to the side like they're trying to figure something out. Determined, added eyebrow, angry, very small eyelid sack. There's this one where it's like a dome at the top, almost like an arch at the bottom. It's like a bashful, shy, scared. This, small pupil, furrowed brow. Maybe with like, maybe it's bigger because you're sad, so your eyes are watery. And so moving the eye eyelids, uh, moving the eyebrows, adding some wrinkles here and there can really do a lot for expressions. All right, so I think I'm gonna pull a reference and I'm gonna draw it real quick and I'm gonna end the video like that. If you guys have any questions, just leave me a comment and let me know what you wanna know. All right guys, thank you so much. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something new. Use those eyes and look down over at that subscribe button and click it. <laughs> don't forget that I will be giving out an Illo sketchbook every month, so don't miss out on that by clicking the like button and leaving me some comments. The next few videos will be short and sweet. In the next episode, I will teach you guys how to draw the nose. See you on the next one.